I had the idea 10 years ago, so many, many years ago, because I went to Japanese public elementary school and I thought this is the key to understanding why Japan is the way it is. However, nothing like this has been done before. I wanted a public school, a big public school, and not just one kid or one class, the whole school. Um, so I failed many times to answer your question. I spent six years trying to find the the perfect combination of circumstances and a school that will let me in. Eventually, I found that this, the city of Setagaya, where I filmed, they were going to host the US Olympic team for the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. So I thought, because I have some background in the US and my producing partner is American, maybe they will be interested in somehow showcasing one of their schools to the US, the outside world. This was my our idea. And eventually got the mayor and the education board and then the principal, like everybody on board. Everything was canceled because of COVID, but we did it the next year. And you don't really see the Olympics in the film, but this was kind of the finally the, the way I cracked the, the way into a school, which was not easy. A school of a thousand kids, you know, there were plenty of parents that were supportive. And especially with the incoming first graders, I, I met kids before they were in school from the, the local daycares. So I kind of built as many relationships as I could with the parents, you know. You never know what child will be with what teacher, what will happen to the kids. So I just thought it was important to get to know as many families as possible so that when something happened in the school, I, I already knew the parents. I could go to them and be, hey, are you comfortable me filming more of your child? Things like this. So, you know, the community was quite supportive. And of course, the, the, those who didn't want to really participate they didn't have to, so um, if, I think the, the pre-production work to, tr to really try to get to know as many people as possible paid off throughout the year. Um, exactly. I mean, you know, we're, we're our strong suit is kind of this collectiveness, our teamwork, our responsibility to others and our surroundings. But as you mentioned, our society has many problems, you know, um, yeah, of individuals not fitting in and then they feel lonely, they, they become suicidal. Um, so I think, and also because of the internet, of just kind of cultures merging, there's a lot of influence from outside of Japan that I observe that Japan is doing a better job trying to cater to more individuals, you know, sometimes at the cost of collective harmony. So my question is, you know, so will the, our trains keep running on time in 30 years, 40 years? Maybe it's okay if it's a few minutes late, if it means everybody's a bit happier, you know. I do think we're headed in that direction and, you know, education is less strict, you know, like the kids are kind of being respected more to have their own individuality, not be the, all the same. So this is great, but I think this will reflect onto society for better better and worse so I think but I think we are shifting and the, the one million dollar question is what to keep out of our traditions and what we should change and if I knew the answers I would be very rich and successful I don't know but I I'm trying to at least pose these questions in my in my film.